who's got more autumn scenes. It's quite mild outside. Yeah, it? it certainly is, Rita. That is about to change. I'll come on to that in just a moment. But yeah, beautiful scene here uh, captured from Herefordshire, actually, by one of our weather watchers. It's a messy picture weather-wise today. There's plenty of cloud, some sunshine. It's places like Herefordshire that could keep the brighter skies through the afternoon. But this was the scene along the south coast of England earlier on today. England and Wales, stormy seas there, gusty winds and some heavy rain. But hot on the heels of that warm front comes a cold front and that will be with us on Thursday. It's sinking its way further southwards, the colder air towards the north. Now there will be some wintry showers across Scotland on Thursday and Friday, even possibly to lower levels. Here's the outlook for our capital city. So you can see those temperatures drop off as we head through the weekend and into the start of next week. There'll be some more widespread nighttime frosts as well. So whereas it's still mild at the moment, this is the headline as we head towards the end of the week. It will be turning colder. Well, it's been a mild morning, but is that about to change? Let's get a look at the weather. Here's Corsa. Hello, good afternoon. Well, it's been an improving story so far today, with more in the way of drier weather, some spells of sunshine too, as captured here by one of our weather watchers. But Sally, will ranking have good weather for it? Therein lies well, the question. Well, the weather's not bad as we go through the next few days, thankfully. I'm inside, by the way. But... OK, <laughs> when are you starting? When are you starting? It's uh, Wednesday. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a bit cloudy, but you'll get some nice light through the window. Look, it sounds like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you should send what me a photo. Weekend? What about the weekend? Send me a photo for the weather. Weekend's cold. Here we go. Let's take a look. Hello again. I hope you had a lovely day. I love this picture of this pigeon. Look at him there, looking at that board, thinking, where's my photo? <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Barbara, and that lovely caption. Now, let's take a little look at the weather, for that is what we're here for. And it's not too bad this week, generally pretty dry. There will be a fair bit of cloud around, though, at times, and still a few showers cropping up here or there. As we head towards the weekend, it's getting a little bit colder. Hi, Sophie. We've got a little bit of cold weather on the way, um, but we'll have to wait towards the end of the week. So, uh, at the moment, it's still relatively mild. In fact, over the weekend, we had temperatures up to about 16 and a half degrees, 16 point six to be exact but temperatures will take a 10 degree drop by the time we get to uh, Friday. It's plenty of dry weather to end the day today but it didn't start off that way did it? We had a lot of clouds, some outbreaks of rain for some of us but this was a scene captured by one of our what weather watchers by the end of the day. Plenty of sunshine here. Hello there, good evening. It was quite a mixed picture weather-wise on Monday, blustery in the west with some brighter spells here and there, also some showers, but always plenty of cloud too, particularly across England and Wales by the end of the day. I'm now for the weather and Alex is on the house at Battersea Power Station in South London. Alex. <laughs> good evening, Mary. Yes, as you say, I'm on the Christmas rink here at Battersea Power Station where it is a lovely evening here and this will be a familiar scene up and down the country as we head through the coming weeks towards the big day itself and also into the new year and the eyes here is all looking pretty good actually everyone enjoying themselves everyone actually standing up at the moment don't want to talk too soon but you may remember last year actually things were slightly different because we had such a mild autumn last year as well the the ice was actually melting. In fact, I remember being at one of the Christmas rinks in Sheffield and they had to cancel skating because the ice was melting that much. Hopefully, we don't get into a situation like that this year. Well, as you head through the course of this week, as I say, it is going to be dry in the south. Some outbreaks of rain uh, across the north, but nowhere near as what we've seen in the last couple of weeks or so. And temperatures will drop off as we get towards this coming weekend. Well, that's the way it is looking here in Battersea this evening. Everyone on the ice having a good time. Mary, I've got my skates on, so I am going to skate off. Take care. <laughs> Look at these dancing on ice days have been put to good use. Thank you, Alex. 